Wall Street is celebrating the longest bull market ever. That means it's the longest period ever without a decline of 20% or more. Now, it's kind of amazing because we have a trade war going on right now, we have an implosion in Turkey, and we have volatility all over the place. The last longest bull market occurred in the 1990s and it ended with the tech bubble bursting. Now, what does today's long bull run mean for the current markets? I'm Ken Brown. I'm the editor of Heard on the Street at the Wall Street Journal, and we're going to go back over some of the high points and low points of this 3,543-day bull market. Since the bull market started on March 9th, 2009, stocks are up 320%. And if you go back to the start date, you can see why. Bull markets start during terrible times, and this is no exception. It was the heart of the financial crisis. Unemployment was right at its highest level of the financial crisis. The other thing that helped drive up stocks was the Federal Reserve, which was basically printing money to get the economy moving. That had the effect of boosting asset prices like those of stocks and real estate. The road to the record has not been smooth. In fact, two years after the bull market started, it almost ended abruptly after credit agencies reduced the U.S. government's credit rating. We had two of the worst stock market days ever because of that. There was another ugly stretch in 2015 and 2016 caused by China devaluing its currency. That sent ripples through markets all over the world. With the election of Donald Trump in November 2016, the bull market gained new steam. A big corporate tax cut boosted profits, and a big stimulus got consumers spending more. How will it end? Bull markets start during terrible times, but they end during periods of euphoria. The last two bull markets ended when the tech stock bubble burst and the housing market burst. So investors right now should be suspicious. Bubble bursting, blah, blah, blah.